Hello. Hi, hi. How's it going? Hey, Holistic Health Harry coming to you today. Um, doing another live. I put it on my YouTube. Um, since my laptop's down, using the phone. I want to start getting back to lives and just putting information out there. Um, on important topics, right? Important, important. Um, what am I learning? This one, bit of a clickbait title, but very true. Um, Gerald Pollock's fourth, one, two, three, fourth phase of water. You know, I made a post um, a few days ago that I got this book. I've ordered it. It's really expensive, actually, in the UK. It costs £23. It's expensive for a book. Gerald Pollock's Four Phase of Water. Um, really powerful. I knew about it because I'd re watched a lot of his videos. Gerald Pollock's a fucking legend. Hi, Carlos. He's a fucking legend, this guy. And um, I wanted to dive in deeper on Four Phase of Water, what's going on, and talk a little bit about it and what I'm learning from it. I already know a lot of stuff on it, but it's reconfirming what I know, so I thought I'd share so far. And, of course, how that ties into... Hmm urine, specifically aged urine, which, kind of me, kind of ego talking here, figured out that actually the main power mechanism behind aging urine, fermentation of urine, why it grows in power is because it becomes Gerald Pollock's full phase of water. That is what aged urine is. It structures itself by itself and maintains its structure, it doesn't lose it. So it becomes a permanent full phase of water that grows in power. There's no limit. And I don't think I've read that so far in Gerald Pollock's book, but I'm very aware there's no limit to how, how structured something can get, how, how structured a water can get. How, how, how crazy is that, guys? There's no limit to how structured something can get. I think a lot of waters can lose their structure. I think they can, but the, something about aged urine, maybe the alkalinity, maybe, it means it maintains its structure, while it keeps growing every day. As it gets older, it gets more powerful. We know this in the aged urine community. Every day that it gets, it grows. Every day that it gets older, it gets more stronger and it gets more structured, which is fucking crazy. Anyway, so um, I've got to the part. There's a lot of geeky knowledge in there. I like the way he's broken it down in kind of a simple way. With his experiments. I love his mind. I can relate to it a lot. I'm sure you guys can too. The experimentation. But I've got to the part um, of what, why he's discovering what does structure water and how it was an accident in his lab that brought about the discovery of easy water. Uh, we call it exclusion zone water, of which aged urine is the ultimate fucking exclusion zone water. Hmm, exciting. If you're into urine therapy, very cool. If you're not, you can still learn a lot. You can structure water too. So yeah, he found out the light. Um, all, here's the, the, the exciting part. All frequencies of sunlight structure water. Very cool. So this is why solarization comes into it. This is why in the water communities, you may have heard people talk about solarization of tea, solarization of food, because food's got water in it, right? Um, fruits get solarized by sunlight. Mm -hmm -hmm. Have you heard about fruits having structured water in it? Mm -hmm -hmm. Why? Sunlight. Yep, 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 yep. Um, aged urine speeds up in the sun, too. But I'll go, I'll, maybe I'll put in this video another video why aged urine, I think, ages even without sunlight. Because I, I just read something in a book that blew my mind. Um, makes sense to me um, to do with it. But for now, I've got to the point where all frequencies of light... He's done, he's done a graph and they did an experiment on what structures that makes easy exclusion zone water or makes structured water, four phase of water. And what was found is that all light frequencies, visible and invisible from the sun, structure your water. But here's the thing, to varying degrees. So it's like... In terms of structuring water, not all light is created equal. I mean, all frequencies of sunlight are amazing, they all do different things, but in terms of structuring water, and by the way, this is significant, um, guys, structured way, plus four phase of water, even if you don't focus on drinking structured water, because you've got blood at the surface levels of your skin, right? And your blood is basically water. You've got your 70% water, if you believe the science, probably way more than that. You know, so this this does affect you. So when you another thing, when your sun, when the sun hits your skin, you're naked, and the more skin, the skin the better. What do you think it's doing? It's structuring your water inside your blood. Your blood, all your water is getting structured. What's that doing? Increasing energy levels. Mm -hmm -hmm. So that's that's outside. What I really want to talk about is um, of aged urine and external waters, or even just um, distilled water. That's my distilled water is getting solarized too. Got the window open. So outside of that too. Anyway, not all sunlights are created equal in terms of structurization of water. 
Um, and what he found was, and this is very true for my experiments too, and you can do very simple experiments, is that um, you, the, the, the worst one for structuring water is UV light, so midday sun UV invisible, right? It does structure water too, though, compared to nothing, so amazing. <laughs> and then the visible colours of light structure a bit more than UV, invisible. And then, and then, and then, and then we get to the red frequency of light, which is at the very high end of the spectrum, found at sunrise, sunset. Sunrise, sunset, it's a very strong visible red. That structures a lot. And then even more than that, we now go into just before sunrise and just after sunset when you think, oh, the sun's setting or the sun's not even up yet and I can't even fucking see and it's all blind. Well, for an hour or two before sunrise, an hour or two after sunset, you've got um, no visibles left, very little red. Now you've got invisible, you may have heard of this, guys, invisible frequencies of red frequency light. It's a very highly long penetrative light. So we're talking about infrared frequencies. We've got low to mid to far infrared frequencies of light that are invisible that, that kick about one to two hours before sunrise and one to two hours after sunset. And these he found in his experiments, structure sunlight, structure water, and make Gerald Pollock's four phase of water, which Adrian is the fucking ultimate, the most. So that's very powerful knowledge. And that is very key because that means and if you want to really mess about with the power of structured water, and let me assure you, it gives you a fuckload of energy because as the water... Hold on one second. Yes, what is it? Yeah, what do you want? Yeah. This is very key, the structured water, Gerard Pollock's four phase, because what you'll find is it gives you a lot of energy. It gives you a lot of energy. It, it, it turns it into a negatively charged vessel. Um, it... it how to explain this? I could talk fucking forever. I'm trying not to confuse you guys and trying to get this information. I'm trying to learn. I'm learning as I talk. Hmm? Trying to simplify, trying to make it simply for you. It, you become a strong magnet. The water becomes a super fucking strong magnet. Here's a way of looking at why Gerard Pollock's fourth phase of water is really important. It's very true too. Everything inside your body that shouldn't be in there. By the way, this free information that's in my aged urine book, the second one. But this is good for information. It's just a simple way of saying it, but very true. I know this for a fact. Every inside your body that shouldn't be in there is positively charged. This includes toxins, heavy metals, chemicals, Dr. Morse's ex, um, what is it, stagnant lymph, um, parasites, everything inside your body. Um, every side, everything inside your body that shouldn't be in there is positively charged. In fact, an unhealthy person has a lot of positive charges in their body. Now, structured water and Gerard Pollock's four phase is a negatively charged vessel and there's no limit, we've discovered with aged urine, to how structured something can get. So what you're doing is, when you structure water, either we use your aging urine or if you don't, just put your, any water, even tap water, that's not very good, any water you put outside the sunlight, what you're doing is you're changing its magnetism and its structure, you're making it more of a stronger magnet. Like at first it was a weak negatively charged magnet, and then with the structurization of sunlight from Gerard Pollock's four phase, it becomes stronger and stronger and stronger negatively charged magnet. The more negatively charged and the more stronger the magnet, that when you retake that, which is why aged urine is so fucking amazing when you drink it, also why fresh urine is good too, because it's kind of a, it's not as strong as aged urine, but it's a, it's a strong magnet. If you've never tried distilled water, fresh urine would be a holy fucking, like it was for me, from tap water, bowl of spring, would be a big shock to your system. It increases the, the, the charge, and therefore it pulls out the parasites, that's why we talk about it, and it cleanses everything that shouldn't be in the body. Does that make any sense? That's why Joe Pollock's four phase of water is a huge discovery, one of the biggest. Um, hi Maggie, hi Andrew. Andrew, I know you know your shit. Patrick, good to have you watching. Tim as well, nice one. It's a huge um, power, a huge power to... Um, the, the four phase of water and its focus, the more structured a, a water, your water becomes, the more powerfully it cleanses your body when you retake it in. This is why it's a key discovery. It's, to me, it's one of the biggest discoveries ever. Like, Gerard Pollock's made it famous, but he admits in his book there was others that discovered it in the 60s that just didn't get famous from it. So he's very humble. What a humble man. What a humble man. I, less so than me. I'm like, hmm, I made discovery aged urine is uber, super structured water. Even though I haven't, I, I've I just heard it about it from someone on Facebook and resonated it, and I took that message on and wrote a book on it, which is true. I'm right, by the way, but I, I didn't find it or discover it at all. But I know Gerard Pollock, good for him. But that's not what matters. What matters is the, the parts that I'm reading that structured water is, look, water for me is not about minerals and nutrients. That's okay if you put them in. Water is a solvent. It's there to cleanse the body, 
right? It's there to, go, once you drink it, whether it be aged urine, distilled water, reverse osmosis, Berkeley, whatever you do, it's once you drink it, the mission of the water is there to cleanse the pipes, to purify the pipes from the positively charged crap, which I said earlier shouldn't be in there, whether it be heavy metals, toxins, from the crap we've eaten, from the bad air we're breathing. These things get trapped in the body. Yeah, bad air, stagnant, stagnation, arthritis, osteoporosis, all that kind of crap. So the purpose of water is to go in there and cleanse, detox, and pull it out. How does it do that? To become a strong magnet. How does it become a strong magnet? When you focus on Gerard Pollock's fourth phase of water. How do you focus on that shit? Uh, sunlight, solarization, any. Um, less UVB, midday sun's okay, Vis it's mainly the visible frequencies, but especially around sunrise and sunset. And you have to go not just around sunrise, sunset, especially, 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 to one to two hours, starting one to two hours before sunrise, sunrise time official for you, one to two hours after sunset time. Those are magic. And also try and get in to solarize your water <laughs> and your age you're in too. Um, uh, at one hour to two hours before after sunrise, one hour, two hours before sunset. Particularly the magic, though, is in the infrared frequencies of light. That's key information. Absolutely fucking key information. Infrared is amazing. You know what you can do, guys, too? You can buy an infrared light machine. Um, you can also buy the ones with visible red and infrared. Because those, because red, visible red also structures water. And you can use your light machine and structure the water that way, too. If you don't fancy putting it out in the sun. You know, there's so many things you can do. How great is that? But it's a fucking huge discovery. Let me tell you, water's all about energy and detoxification. It's about the magnet and becoming more structured so it can push it out and it gives you more energy. One thing you'll notice, one, the first thing you'll notice when you start messing about with your Pollock's full face of water and leaving your water out in outside at key times of sunrise, sunset, or any time, or especially the whole day, because then you've got every single frequency of light going on. How crazy is that? One thing you'll notice, not only is it detox you, the breath slows down, Big time. There's a, from first gulp, intake consciousness shifts like a lot. This is why age urine works, by the way. Everyone bangs on about how powerful age urine. Cool, you don't like age urine, it's cool. It's fine. It's not for you. You can do it with other waters. Fine. But just understand that's why the breath slows down a lot with structured water, Gero Pollux. Um, consciousness shifts, detox goes in, and then energy kicks in. Your, it's all about energy. Your energy goes up really does especially when you put in a lot of work like us and we've done the detoxification sickness phase and we've got the shit out and then we can start playing around with energies and stuff so it's a very exciting discovery it's very huge and i'm so fucking glad whoever was that random person on facebook uh, way back when um i can't even remember when now four or five months ago that made me connect the dots between aged urine and um gerard pollock's full face of water because by the way guys i know i'm fucking right um how do i know because when you solarize just plain old distilled water oh i made a video on this this Pretty good information too. When you solarize um, and magnetize, there's a magnet under that too. When you magnetize and solarize plain old distilled water or any water, right? That's why spring water is really cool too, in a way. Yeah, from a spring, because it's just out in the sunlight 24 7. Hmm, what does sunlight do? We know infrareds and all frequencies like structures it. Spring water is structured water, super uber structured water in a way too. Um, what does it do? Uh, what's it? 